Good morning, A Bird Freedom Fam. Here we are, another Y Wednesday. Tomorrow's going to be Thursday, then Friday. Maybe you're off to the range. You want to do a little bit of extra cleaning on your AR platform. I'm going to give you three quick little places to clean, three little ways that I do it. Hopefully, it helps you. Enough chit chat, jibber jabber for me. Let's get right into it. Let's go ahead and put the upper off to the side. So a lot of people realize that you need to clean inside your buffer tube. It can be a little bit tricky to get in there. Um, Pro Shot, Otis, lots of people make a nylon brush that is actually the size of the buffer tube. Throw it on your pistol rod. Get in there. Give her a little. And then, but how do you get whatever you cleaned up out of there? It's easy. Take a nice cotton rag. Wrap it right around your nylon brush. Run it right in your buffer tube, burp, 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 and then pull it back out, and lo and behold, you're going to pick up what's in there. All right, so there's the buffer tube, because oftentimes the buffer tube can be neglected. But now let's talk about an area that builds up carbon and can give you a like strike. So on your bolt assembly itself, on the forward edge that actually sits inside your bolt carrier, ta-da! Where it goes in, you're going to want to get in there and you're going to want to clean that out really good inside that hole. Um, there's a number of ways to do it. Um, I like to use a nylon brush to get everything I can out. And I cheat, throw it on my cordless drill. I spin up my chamber brush, run it in the hole, run it all the way down, run it back out. Well, let's not forget the back side where the firing pin actually comes in contact with the bolt body or the bolt carrier. Because as carbon builds up, the firing pin slaps forward. As you get carbon built up in there, it backs the firing pin off. Um, as you push the bolt the other direction with built up carbon, you're actually reducing the protrusion of your firing pin through the bolt face. Same thing. Just go ahead and take your nylon brush. I like to throw mine on my drill. I like to run it in and then run it all the way down. Go ahead and scrub out the back side. Make sure you get all the way through so that everything is good and clean. Then I like to use the medical style Q-tips. Um, we've all seen these so that you can reach down in there and you literally just swirly, 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 swirly. And as you can see, it will break that carbon up. Your Q-tip is going to take it out. On the back side, you can actually go in a little bit further down. You're going to be working at a weird angle, but it can be done. And just get in there and get her all cleaned up, and you can actually see. And as you can see, this Q-tip also picks up that carbon. So just a couple quick little things. Firing pin, make sure you get the carbon off of the actual face right here. So that as a firing pin goes forward, when the hammer strikes it, there's no carbon buildup to push this out of spec, which is going to decrease the amount of firing pin protrusion coming out of your bolt face. So for this Y Wednesday, why not go the extra little bit and hit up a few little extra spots? So that's, but that's two, right? That's the bolt, firing pin, extra little carbon. What about, oh, we have all been to the arms window where your unit armor has the smallest pinky finger on the face of the earth. And he can get in there and he can just get all up in the locking lugs and he always comes out like that. Same thing with the nylon chamber brush. You can do it with a regular chamber brush as well. But you're going to just slide it on down into that upper, spin her up, run it on down into the locking lugs, give her a good scrubby scrubbing, come back out. Come back over to your medical Q-tips. Give her a good swab out. And the great part about the upper is, is you can come in from different angles. So you can come in from the bottom. You can come in from the ejection port. And then if you have little spots of carbon, little buildup, go ahead and snap that handle off so that you get a little point. Ah, ah, don't stick it in your eye. Now you can come in and you can nitpick inside the locking lugs. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but that tip 
went ahead and picked up a little chunk of carbon. So just a, a little extra for this Y Wednesday. Just a couple extra spots, a couple little extra ways to think about getting that rifle cleaned up. Because a lot of people forget that as carbon gets hard like calcium, it's going to take your tolerances and it's going to push them apart. Now, is a guarantee going to cause you a light hammer, hammer strike? I will not say that. Shit, evidently I can't say much. But I don't want this video to go too long with a bunch of rambling. If you like these kind of little tips, tricks, and uh, why Wednesday, go ahead, subscribe, like, throw a comment down there. If you have a tip that you use when you clean, go ahead and throw it in the comments. Um, knowledge is power. I'll say it one more. I'll say it over and over again, actually. Knowledge is power. The more you know, the more you can do. So with that being said, it is summertime. It is getting hot. Stay hydrated. Don't let the heat drive you crazy and make you do something you shouldn't do. Everybody stay safe. A-Bird Freedom Support. Out.